Good day students. It's wonderful having you back in class today. My name is Mrs. Fakoya Elizabeth and I will be your chemistry teacher for today's session. Today we will be discussing the chemistry of oxygen as a non-metallic element. Learning objectives for this lesson. At the end of the lesson, learners will be able to 1. Write the electronic configuration of oxygen. 2. State the type of bonding in oxygen molecule. 3. Discuss the occurrence, preparation, properties and uses of oxygen. And 4. Mention types of oxides and give examples. Key vocabulary words for this lesson are thermal decomposition, catalyst, combustion, and oxides. A. Thermal decomposition reaction. It occurs when a single compound, a solid, splits into two or more substances when heated. B. Is catalyst. A catalyst is a substance which alters the rate of a reaction without being used up itself. C is combustion. Combustion is a chemical reaction that occurs when oxygen combines with other substances to produce heat and usually light. And D is oxides. Oxides are chemical compounds with one or more oxygen atoms combined with other elements. Introduction of oxygen. Oxygen is a non-metallic element found in group 6 of the periodic table. Electronic configuration of oxygen. Oxygen has an atomic number of 8 with the electronic configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. At room temperature and pressure, oxygen exists as a discrete gaseous diatomic molecule, O2, in which the two atoms are joined together by a double covalent bond. Let us take a look at bonding in oxygen molecule. In the structure below, we have two oxygen atoms. And the type of bonding present in an oxygen molecule is covalent bonding. Each atom of oxygen contributes a pair of electrons for sharing, represented with a single stroke to give a double covalent bond in oxygen molecule. Occurrence of oxygen. Oxygen is the most abundant element on earth. It occurs in nature in both free and combined states. In the combined form, oxygen constitutes about 50% by mass of the earth's crust, the oceans and the air. It exists naturally as gaseous diatomic molecule and constitutes about 20% by volume of atmospheric air in the free state. It is also present in combination with other elements as in mineral ores such as clay, limestone and sand. It is about 90% by mass of water. Now to the laboratory preparation of oxygen, that is preparing oxygen in small quantity. Oxygen is usually prepared in the lab by 1. Thermal decomposition of potassium trioxychlorate 5 and 2. Decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. After this short break, we are going to look at the preparation of oxygen in the lab in details. Thank you.
Welcome back. We are going to look at laboratory preparation of oxygen. Oxygen is usually prepared in the lab by 1. Thermal decomposition of potassium trioxochlorate 5, KClO3. The most frequently used method to prepare oxygen in the laboratory is through the decomposition of potassium trioxochlorate 5, KClO3. In the setup for the preparation of oxygen, we have a boiling tube supported by a retort stand, a source of heat, a delivery tube fitted in a cork in the boiling tube, then you also have a pneumatic trough containing the beehive shelf and the gas jar. A mixture of potassium trioxychlorate 5 and black manganese 4 oxide powder is crushed and placed in a hard glass boiling tube. The pieces of apparatus are then set up as shown in the diagram above. Eat the mixture gently. A colorless and odorless gas, oxygen, is given off and collected over water, leaving potassium chloride, KCl. Number two method of preparing oxygen in the lab is by decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Oxygen can be made from hydrogen peroxide, which decomposes slowly to form water and oxygen. Manganese 4 oxide is placed in a round bottom flask. Then the pieces of apparatus are set up as shown in the diagram below. In this preparation, eating is not required. And the equation for the reaction for the preparation is 2 moles of hydrogen peroxide decomposing to give 2 moles of water and 1 mole of oxygen. In the setup for the preparation of oxygen using hydrogen peroxide, we have a round bottom flask supported by a retort stand a dropping funnel and a delivery tube fitted into the round bottom flask, a pneumatic trough containing the beehive shelf and the gas jar. Hydrogen peroxide solution is added drop by drop through a dropping pipette into the round bottom flask. There is immediate effervescence the colorless and odorless gas evolved, oxygen is collected over water. Industrial preparation of oxygen. Oxygen is produced in large quantity from the following sources. 1. From liquefied air. Oxygen is obtained industrially from atmospheric air by liquefaction, that is, by successive heating and cooling of hair, followed by fractional distillation of the liquefied air. Number two is by electrolysis. Oxygen, like hydrogen, is obtained during the electrolysis of dilute tetraoxosulfate 6 acid. Properties of oxygen. And we are going to start with the physical properties. Number one, pure oxygen is colorless, odorless, and tasteless. Two, it is slightly denser than air. Three, it is slightly soluble in water. Chemical properties of oxygen. After this short break, we are going to look at the chemical properties of oxygen.
Welcome back. Chemical properties of oxygen. Number one, combustion. Oxygen supports combustion. Most elements burn in oxygen to produce the corresponding oxides. It is an oxidation reaction. Hence, oxygen is an oxidizing agent. Number two reaction is reaction with metals. In the first equation, sodium or metal burns in oxygen to give sodium oxide. And in the second equation, magnesium, a metal, burns in oxygen to give magnesium oxide. Number three reaction of oxygen is reaction with non-metals. Non-metals such as carbon, sulfur, and phosphorus burn in oxygen to form acidic oxides. In the first equation, carbon, a non-metal, burns in oxygen to give carbon-4 oxide. In the second equation, sulfur, a non-metal, burns in oxygen to give sulfur-4 oxide. And in the third equation, phosphorus, a non-metal, burns in oxygen to give phosphorus-5 oxide. What is an oxide? Oxides are formed when an element combines with oxygen types of oxides. Oxides can be classified into several groups, namely 1. Basic oxides, 2. Acidic oxides, 3. Amphoteric oxides, and 4. Neutral oxides. 1. Basic oxides. These are oxides of metals. They react with acids to form salt and water only. Example, sodium oxide reacts with hydrochloric acid to give sodium chloride which is a salt and water number two is acidic oxides these are oxides of non-metals called acid and hydrides they react with water to form acids and with alkalis to form salt and water only in the first equation carbon-4 oxide reacts with water to give a weak acid known as trioxocarbonate 4 acid. In the second equation, carbon 4 oxide reacts with an alkalis sodium hydroxide to give sodium trioxocarbonate 4 a salt and water. Number three is amphoteric oxides. They are metallic oxides which can behave both as basic oxides and acidic oxides. That is, they can react with both acids and alkalis to form salt and water only. Examples are oxides of aluminium, zinc, lead, and tin. With acids, amphoteric oxides behave as bases, forming salt and water only, as shown in the equation. Zinc oxide reacting with tetraoxosulfate 6 acid to give zinc tetraoxosulfate 6 a salt and water. With alkalis, they exhibit acidic properties by forming complex salt. Zinc oxide reacts with an alkalis, sodium hydroxide, and water to give sodium zincate. Number four is neutral oxides. They are neither acidic nor basic. Hence, they are neutral to litmus. Examples are water, carbon-2 oxide, and nitrogen-1 oxide. Uses of oxygen. Number one, in oxyhydrogen flame for welding and cutting of metals. Number two, in oxyethane or oxyacetylene flame for welding and cutting of steel. Number three is it is used in respiration by plants and animals. Number four, it is used as breathing aids in hospitals, high altitude flying, and sea diving. Number five, liquid oxygen is used in explosive and as a rocket fuel. Revision exercise. One, state the type of bonding which exists between oxygen atoms in a molecule of oxygen. Number 2. 15 grams of potassium trioxochlorate 5 was crushed and heated 
with 0.1 gram of manganese 4 oxide in it. A. Write an equation for the reaction and state the role of manganese 4 oxide in it. B. Calculate the volume of gas evolved at STP. Number three, list three physical properties of oxygen. Number four, state three uses of oxygen. Thank you for listening and stay safe.